part of the schedule. Yep. This time in a week. All right. So this is a nice little off day for them. Uh, and I believe that is uh, what you've do, you, what you've done with your day then. Yes. All right. So I will go ahead and advance the counter. We are back, going back to day one of the work week. Uh, and as so comes. Isn't there uh, a I'm third uh, bar that you can add to that guy? Uh, what would the third bar be for? Work, uh, my work days versus work weeks. Because <laughs> we're offset by a day. I, I more or less figured that you would just use the seventh day for it. What am I, God? Since that kind of makes sense, right? Okay, if you're saying it makes sense that I'm God, then sure. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll talk about it in a bit. Though. Ray, when somebody asks you if you're a God, what do you say? Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick five-second break here and be right back, and we will continue with being out in the forest. No. Quick running joke. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. <laughs> what? Three Mississippi. Yes. Four what? Mississippi. Why are you counting? Five Mississippi. <laughs> And he's back. What? What's that about Sorry. Mississippi? Like, why the fuck? What? Saying it takes a second. He said five seconds. So oh. Counting out five seconds. He was specific. Well, he's... oh right, that's oh, that's weird. So, in the second book of Incarnations of Immortality, yeah. it's all about uh, Kronos. See, apparently, Kronos. Kronos's office starts at the end of time and flows backwards uh -huh. to the beginning of time because. Uh, he experiences life in reverse. So the moment he takes the hourglass, which is his symbol of the office, he starts to see the world reverse around him, and he actually has to use his consciousness to see uh, time in the forwards. So anytime he re uh, interacts with any other incarnation, he has to physically uh, concentrate on time going forwards. So he knows them before uh, he knows them from the moment they t uh, end their office to the moment they take their office instead of the other way around. So he'll, if he shows up in other incarnation books, he always uh, appears knowing things about the characters that they don't even know yet. Very interesting. It's also the one where uh, the devil tries to trick him by putting him on a set of a drama that he doesn't understand is the, actually a drama. He thinks he's on another planet in a fantasy world or something. Until he realizes that the devil is tricking him, because the devil always tricks every other character in every other book. By the way, this is also a running joke, because every time there's dead air, I fill it with incarnations yep. of immortality talk. You. Incarnations of immortality, tell me more. I've Back. already named an episode about it. Because so I don't remember why, but somebody was gone for a long time. And I just kept talking. Like I said, I could fill an episode with this. Oh, yes. Alright. Let me go ahead and scroll up to where I was going. I'm down here charging money, and I need to be up here where uh, everyone gets ambushed and taken kidnapped. And taken uh, kidnapped. Yes, double kidnapped. Do, do, I have do, a do. particular set of skills. Skills that make me a nightmare for someone like you. Alright. Since you uh, did not roll navigation to find your way, when you wake up, you still need to uh, figure out which way it is to the village. So I would like you guys to roll outdoor survival one more time and with a plus 10. I'm gonna use... Say, I'm gonna use a spell plus 20. I'm gonna use, still use a spell first. Okay. Sure. Alright. First pretend of ammo. And I use it for this exact reason, because I don't want to <laughs> fail. Alright. Roll. Outdoor survival. Plus 20. And I can re-roll that for free. Oh boy. Which, well, you Yay! need to... Uh, was that a success? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking is. at like a different page right now. It is All a success right. by three degrees. Where is he? Oh, right. It was in this tab. 
Okay. <clears throat> okay, so yes, with three degrees, you can tell the telltale signs of foot traffic. It seems like maybe people have come out this far, perhaps to hunt. And as you uh, get closer and closer, you can tell the signs of, uh, of various logging practices, of people marking uh, different trees and uh, different ways uh, to get to and from uh, various locations. Good. So with that, uh, you continue on until the tree line clears for several hundred yards. And in the center of this clearing is Bade Esselberg. Uh, walled with stone like a fortress from the outside, men atop ample towers with rifles in hands and mortars by the gate. Ooh. You pass by the farms lining the clearing uh, and approach the gate, open during daylight. Uh, and as you approach the town, you are stopped by a very alert watchman. <clears throat> hold on there, hold on there. What business you have riding into town? There's danger on the woods lately. Can't just be letting any peasant walk in to spy on us. Hello, we're not peasant. We have monitored by the Council of Mindenheim. Come check on you. Council of Mindenheim, huh? Uh, yes. Go ahead and uh, give him a charm roll to just go ahead and do that outright. And go ahead and give it a uh, plus 20. Wow, well, that's... Uh... Success anyway. Yeah, three degree success. Hey. Alright, so he'll kind of nod and go, well, you got any sort of uh, verification for that? Do I? Uh, you do. You have a at least symbol of the uh, Guild of Wizards. At least demonstrate you aren't a peasant. So he'll sort of accept that. Alright, it's on the Guild then if anything happens. Indeed. So what's your business around these parts? Well, the shipment from Afghan stopped arriving, and we went out to make sure. Oh, right, we were you okay. have a letter of introduction. Yes, I am. Okay. I think. Uh, so go ahead and continue. You were saying. We were sent here to make sure everything's okay. Everything's okay? Well, of course it is. Let's take a look. We got sturdy walls. Nobody's come around to touch them. And We're about safe the as can be. about the shipment of the roads, though. Ah, and about this shipment of guns. Well, that be the safety of the roads, huh? Hmm. I guess so. Can we come in for a while? We need to. Of stay course, in. of course. Somebody. Thank you. So we'll... Ooh. Okay. Uh, so you do have a letter of introduction to someone named Sir Alexander Bade Essel. Uh, the town itself uh, is relatively small. Uh, the town here is thriving despite its isolation. A small market square is lively, and you can see plenty of coins trading hands, and the local tavern has a warm fire and the sound of a merry song from workers taking their lunch. The second larger, largest structure in town is the smithy, and black smoke rises from it, and the heat of the smelters can be felt from afar. Beside the smithy is a large warehouse, where men move crates in and out uh, under the watch of more guards. Hmm. The largest building in town is the manor, a solid two-story estate coated in clean white plaster, with a few spare gold fixtures on the front lantern and windows, giving it the aura of wealth. Um, where can I find this? Oh, I forgot his name already. Damn it! Why is this with uh, Alexander? Me? Uh, where can I find this Alexander fellow? I ask the guard. Uh, well, he lives in the he lives in the manor. He runs the town, owns it. I'd rather say, uh, but he might be doing uh his rounds right now. Might be checking in on the smithy. Ah, very well. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so you are going to go ahead and approach the smithy. Yep. Okay. 
Uh, go ahead and roll me a perception. I swear, if I see tiny red pointy eyes... Uh, do it, do it at minus 20, by the way. Hmm. I'm gonna roll that. With a 14 point. Still failure. Okay. Uh, Alexa, would you like to roll as well? Sure. Perception minus 20. Give Victor a chance at this too. Well, I would have succeeded without the penalty. Okay. Uh, the smithy seems to be uh, uh, nice and at work. Uh, you see men at work, some shirtless, as they uh, approach the hot flames and uh, melting metal that they work with. And That's among insane. them, you do see a uh, well-dressed individual. Uh, do, do I have a better description of him? Do... Here we go. Uh, you see a tall, gaunt man with a large brown beard and a fine red tunic with a clutch of papers in one hand. Uh, so you see him there. Oh, what do you do? Approach him with my letter of introduction. And I All already right. forgot his name. God damn it! Alexander. Alexander. There we go. I have written it down on the chat. All right. <clears throat> As you approach, he uh, takes a letter and takes a look at it and goes, Oh, Council Mintheim. Well, welcome, Gustav. Yes, Gustav. Yes. Yes, welcome to Bay Dasselberg. What a nice town. Well, I'd like to think so. Thank you. So how can I help you? Well, we came here for two reasons. We wanted to make sure you were okay. And well, now that I see the wall, I guess I can understand how you survived the storm of chaos. Uh, but the concern of Minoin was uh, worried about the gunship that are, well, still missing. They ah. Wanted. Yes, we haven't done our shipments lately because of uh, fear of the safety on the roads. See, always there's always something out there. And with the Storm of yeah. Chaos recently, well, we figured we'd just wait until uh, someone sent word that was safe to travel the route, rather than risk losing our whole shipment of guns. Sounds As it is, uh, we're fairly secure here, so it's no wonder that they passed us up. Uh, small be spans of beastmen have uh, tried to attack us in the past, but uh, occasionally they do learn to stay away. <laughs> hmm. But, um... <clears throat> mm. Well, rather than uh, leaving our guns to the uh, dangers of the road, we figured it'd be safer if they just stayed here in our warehouse, completely secure. Um, now that the season, would you by chance need some... Farming help or la laborers or any workers at all in your fine town? Well, it's high to summer. We could always use more uh, hands to pick it and uh, make the work go faster, I suppose. But our main uh, source of revenue around here is the smithy. That requires talent. Or, well, training at the least. Yeah, I'm sure of it. I ask you that because Midnight is. Well, team, teaming with refugees, and some of them, most of them farmers, um, maybe they could, maybe some of them could come here and help with that. After all, food supplies is always in demand. Well, we got a couple farm plots that uh, probably need tending. I'd say we could probably handle maybe about ten families. That's, all right, I'll, well, we'll try to organize that, you know, but, um, well, uh, since the ruler are unsafe, uh, I guess if you allow us to stay in your town for a night or two, we can arrange a shipment with uh, us guarding it. Oh, well, 
I'm not so sure we'll be able to send a shipment, even if you give us uh, the blessing of the safe roads. Why uh, see, carts that we normally carry the shipments, uh, well, they still need to be repaired, too. Terrible accident recently, you see. Really? Yeah. Lost two oxen in it. They just collided straight into each other, and the carts, well, almost went with them. They need a bit of repair, but, well, we just don't have the wood for it right now. I thought I saw some tracks of uh, lumber walking near your town. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, one second, let me go ahead and read this bit. Uh, do 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 do. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, we sent our lumberjacks out to get some more wood. They're usually on top of things. I haven't been back for a while, though. I suppose they're just, uh, out and about doing their thing. Hmm. I wouldn't worry too much about it. They'll probably be back in the week. Can, can I do a perception check? This man seem Doesn't seem very trustworthy. I'd go ahead and roll. I will think about it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You can, you kind of like have a sketchy feeling. That's about it. As far as he's uh, said, he, there's not really anything evidently wrong here. Well, uh, nonetheless, we would like to stay a couple of days in Europe. Uh, to restock uh, our supplies and rest a bit before I'm going back to Midnight. All right, feel free to stay at our local tavern while you're here. We got a few. Uh, we got a common room that you can sleep in, along with a few of the extra workers who uh, don't have homes here. All right. See, we've mm. already taken in a couple refugees. Hmm. I see. But they're just the ones that had talent, as I said. You know what okay. doesn't sit well with me, uh, Gustav, is the fact that, remember, with the orcs, there was that other group, the mutants, that had the guns? <laughs> I'm going to assume that like you just like yeah. pull each other aside to do that yeah. conversation. Yeah. I'm not going to like say, like, oh, you're just saying it out in the middle of the streets. Yeah. 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 Yes, I I thought of that. I got a sketchy thing for this guy. I think they're selling their guns to someone. Well, that two oxen going in, on, in on each other. Together. Really? Have you ever seen an oxen just colliding with another one? Victor will kind of like speak. I was like, well, once I saw like a cow run straight into the side of a building. It was kind of hilarious, really. I laughed about it for months. But, um, mm. <clears throat> aside from that, Likely what that. are we going to do? We're going to stay here and investigate a bit. Where would, where would you, where should we investigate? Should we split up? Just mm. check out the whole town? Well, um, you said the guns, uh, the cart were in repair, right? Yes, they did. So why won't, don't we check that? There's some pretense of needing our own repair for, I don't know, we, if we caught him in his life, I mean, we could wait a bit to see to whom he is selling his guns, but got a feeling he will sell us out. So I suggest we get some evidence and then quickly go back and pretend to be blissfully unaware and come okay. back with more men. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find anything then. Yes. So it seems like you resolved to go check out the cart situation then. Yes. All right. So you go around to try to find out where the cart is. Uh, give me a gossip check to or a perception check to maybe find it. Which one would you like to do? The one gossip means you're telling which... people about what you're up to. No perception. I'll look at it. But I'm gonna roll that with my. 
only over 14 points. Aha. Uh, Victor doesn't know. Uh, Alexa could also roll if she wanted, but uh, Gustav has found it. Uh, searching around the town, you see, like, on the opposite side of the smithy is, in fact, a small workshop for, uh, specifically for, uh, building a few different things and for, uh, other lumber-type products. Uh, and, of course, there is a pair of carts there. Both of them, though, have half of their wheels taken off uh, on the sides. Well, this is Alexa territory. Yep. <laughs> So what things to do about that? Um, well, I have the drive skill. Can I tell if this is normal to do based on the weight and load and check to see, you know, if it's in good running condition, etc. Uh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Let's let's roll. And then we'll do the questions one at a time. Oh, no. Damn it. Would you like to maybe roll crafts work and do from that angle? Uh which one would be most appropriate? Uh, which ones do you have again? Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I have trade bowyer, trade farmer, trade cook, trade armor, and trade artist. So, I think I mean, drive is probably the closest. Farmer I could use do. carts, right? What and what? Farmers use carts, don't they? But yeah, that's true. Okay, let's go ahead and do farming then. I'll think back to my peasant era of like, hmm, yes, what carts have they used in the past when it comes to... Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, no. It's on the tip of my tongue. Well, for... at least as far as you can tell, given these, these have been, well, brought in for repair. They're missing wheels, and it looks like someone was maybe going to work on them. But mm. there's just nothing here. Mm. Uh, yeah. Is there anything you would like to try, Gustav? Yeah, is there wood supplies here? Uh, indeed so. There are tools specifically for uh, doing lumber work. And have a supply like wood? Uh, yes, there is. There is a small supply of wood. But it looks like it is... Uh, Planks of wood intended for, say, constructing the site of a building. Hmm. Can I look at the wheels more closely? Uh, sure you can. Hmm. What could I do? Um, the wheel looks to be broken. I guess. Uh, mm. go ahead and roll perception. Everyone can roll it. Everyone? <laughs> Yes, you can see it even from it. What do I see from here? What's my modifier? You can see if the wheels are broken, but can you see why kids love cinnamon toast crunch? No, I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's see. So Gustav has succeeded, and Victor has succeeded, and Alexa is not entirely certain. Uh, so let's see. So what was the question here in particular? Seeing the damage? Yeah. If okay, there is so... damage in the wheels. Uh, well, given that two of the wheels on each are missing, you can't exactly see if there's any damage to those. They are gone. However, hmm. to the rest of the cart, there doesn't appear to be anything necessarily wrong with them. Hmm. That's weird. I guess. Hmm. Well, not read really weird, but... Hmm. Alright. It seems like all that would really be needed for this would be to, uh... Well... Fix the wheels on the sides. Hmm. Well, let's see how, where the stove goes. Just, you know. Alright, so you're going to go to the warehouse. Yes. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll perception at minus ten. First, magic. Sets off the gunpowder. Oops. Town explodes. Town no longer safe. As channeling. Oh. Yeah. He said first magic. <laughs> oh, okay. Because, you know, we can want to get those, uh... Come on, did he roll it? Damn it, no. Nope. I think that would have been one of those crappy ones where the result could have resulted in gunpowder explodes. Uh, 
No, it's a crappy one. No, I mean, yeah, but I mean, if milk can turn, then gunpowder <laughs> can explode. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I fail to see the logic here, but sure. Because it's a minor effect on things that surround you. Like, you give off mm. an aura of shit. Oh. I think one of those is like something catches on fire, isn't it? What? Um, I don't know. What? Reroll that. Yay! <laughs> hey. And Alexa, would you like to also roll? I'll give it a try. Okay, perception of minus 10. Nope. <laughs> I'm not very helpful. Okay. Uh, so as you approach the warehouse, uh, you see the guards standing uh, still around the building, turning their heads to kind of keep an eye out, but not really fearing anything. One of them stands near the corner of an alleyway, and uh, Gustav, from behind his legs, you can see a figure that doesn't reach up to the man's knees, attempting to hide and peek around. <laughs> it is a large Damn hat, it, a stark white beard, and a long, sharp nose. Its hostile it. eyes turn to you before it steps back behind the corner. I hate Sight. <laughs> Oh no. Alright. Clearly, it is another manifestation of magic, and I'm imagining this. Alright. You, you kind of uh, shake yourself out of it, and, uh, well, it's not there anymore, so you must have just been seeing things. I mean, it must have just been the be... winds of magic messing with you. Wouldn't be the first time. It, w it wouldn't be. You hear the chains rustling behind you. It's <laughs> okay. It's me, uh, but Marley, yes. the ghost of Christmas past. But yeah, no, checking out the warehouse. What's uh, Christmas? <laughs> there appears to be a nice big uh, lock on the front of it. Hmm. There are two ways into the building, and they both have that same big iron lock on them. Seems like it's almost impossible to break, at least uh, from Alexis' perspective. Uh, what do you do around the building? Do you want to talk to the guards, or what do you want to do? Hmm. Are you going to turn to Victor and Alison? So, we try to get in without being seen and deal with luck, or do we try the official ways? Well, I mean, I guess we could ask. We we do have that letter. We're we do. We are supposed to be here, right? Yes, I could ask to mm -hmm. count the number of guns. Because we right, be sure. Inventory. Check. Yes. Okay. So, what do you do? Do you go do that? Yep. I'm going okay. to a perfect guard. Alright. Guard looks up at you, kind of looks you up and down. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm from the Council of Minerals. I spoke with um, uh, Alexander Basil. Uh, I'm here to do an inventory to for the next delivery to Middenheim. He just kind of like looks at you a little blankly and goes, "Yeah." I have a look of introduction. We we are gonna meet. Just I'm just going. We need to go in there for an hour or two and count the number of guns we're gonna uh, for the next delivery because you know we need some. We need mm. to know exactly how much we're receiving. Mm, nah. Excuse me? Nah. Why is that? Don't got the key. Oh. Who do? Mr. Bade Essel. They will. I guess we're gonna ask him. Thank he you. He kind of like time. grumbles a little bit and seems to be a person of very, very few words. Mm hmm. Well. Let's go to Alexander. Okay. So you go ahead and head to his house. Uh, it appears that he is uh, returned there for now. Uh, at the front door, you are greeted by a uh, well-dressed servant with a long beard and good posture. Uh, he sort of looks at you and goes, Ah, yes. Master told me to perhaps be expecting you. Hello. Would you like to... Uh, Come inside, or would you like to simply leave him a message? I uh, would like to meet him if he is available. 
We have something to ask. Ah, yes. I will see if he is ready to meet you. Please, come into the drawing room. Thank you very much. And, uh, of course, he will lead you into the house to a, uh, nice little room. Uh, the center of the house is a nice, large, uh, open area with a, uh, staircase leading up to a second-store balcony that looks down into the center, with, uh, all the rooms kind of arranged around that sort of U-shape on the first and second floor. Uh, do-do-do. Uh, as you are sitting in the drawing room waiting, uh, a small young child with long brown hair and a pretty yellow dress kind of wanders into the room and kind of peeks her head in. Well, hello there. Hi. Who are you? My name is Gustav. I come from Minamine, and this is Alexa and Victor. Oh, Vinheim, that's the big city, isn't it? Yes. Daddy always says that he'll take me. He hasn't yet, but, well, it's been busy lately. And who are you? Oh, I'm Lisa. You have a daughter of Alexander? That's right. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Gustav, she says as she, like, uh, takes a little curtsy. What have they been so busy about, Lisa? I don't know. All he says is that it's work and work and work, and says it's too dangerous to go outside. Well, oh, that's no fun. Instead, I just gotta play here. I got my best friend Teddy, and he's a big, strong warrior. I got my bestest friend Greg, who's a brave knight. And my bestest friend Marcus, who can hold so many swords, and he's gonna help all the people. And I like them all. And you can come play with me too. You want to well, come play? Sure, let us sure. play. All right, they're all in my room. If you want to come play, and she will take you away for the moment, Alexa. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, and, uh, as you're being taken away, uh, the, uh, Alexander will come and meet with you, Gustav, in the sitting room. Uh, he goes ahead and, uh, takes a seat, and, uh, his servant has brought around some coffee. Hello again. Uh, sorry to disturb you. Oh, no problem at all. How can I help you? Oh, well, we just need to do a quick inventory of how many gun you have in store for the next shipment, you know, so we'll be ready and know exactly how much we can spare, to whom it shall go, all that sort of thing, you know. I see, I see. Number, numbers. All need to accompany you. I am, me and my family are the only ones who have the keys to the warehouse. Uh, safety, of course, you understand. Of course, you cannot let it just... Um, you know, you cannot less uh, oh can sp uh, you cannot let guns sit around unintended and unprotected. But just be Indeed. That's why we have guards posted up at all times. Yes. Not a single person could possibly get in. And they can't get past our walls in the first place either. Yes, it's in like a very very secure location. I was worried something happened to your uh, town, but well, I'm glad it's, it isn't the case. You know, things have been... As am I, we're fortunate, you know. Yes, things have been kind of hectic this uh, couple of months. Green skins, chaos, warriors, beastmen, all sort of nasty stuff. Uh, well, still, so, uh, if you're ready, we can go ahead and uh, go to the warehouse together. Of course. All right, so the two of you will head out to the warehouse. Meanwhile, Alexa, you are being distracted by this nice young little lady. Okay. Uh, and she has a, uh, of course, uh, a nice little children's room. You can see, like, a small uh, chest of toys in one side and uh, a bed her size. And a few uh, drawings on the wall that she's used uh, an excessive amount of papers for. Just sort okay. of pinned up against it. All of, like, their happy little family of three. And she also has some, like, drawings of, like, uh, 
a teddy bear, and uh, a couple of brave knights. Oh, so they're not actually real kids. It's just her. No, it's just toys. No. That's right. And at her tea table, she has uh, a teddy bear and a uh, wooden knight sitting at it. And oh. she will uh, go up and uh, pour you some tea, which, as it turns out, is just some water. It's like, oh, what a lovely tea set you have, Lisa. Oh, thank you. See, it's been the family for so long. They say to be very careful with it, and I am. Oh, I can see Very that. careful. So do you, are you ever able to play with the other children in the, in the village? Oh, of course! But some of them make fun of me. They say I, I shouldn't still be playing with my teddy at all. Oh. Well, I don't care. I like all my friends. They're not imaginary at all. Oh, I understand, hon. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh. And I'll just, just like, her. blush and, you know, <laughs> like, uh, just be adorable. Of course. Um, but I guess, could I do a perception check to see around the room or look at her drawings or things? Uh, sure. Go ahead and do a perception check. Okay. Success. Do I'm just reading a little bit to see what's happening. So there's no like pictures of her like with this you know, with her hair over her face and black crayon and like big black circles or monsters or things like that. <laughs> no, there's nobody with like swords into their chest. Uh, right. You do see like one figure that like uh is like the knight. But, uh, is holding, like, six swords. Ah. And, like, okay. six arms. I'll say, is that Marcus? Is that the one that has all the swords? Yeah, he's got so many swords, it's so cool, isn't it? Well, I guess some of them aren't swords. Like, this one's a gun, this one's a spear. It's, ah. Oh. It's so cool. Is that your imaginary friend, or have you seen Marcus before? Not imaginary. Oh. What Let me just is... like the others. Like the they're others? real. They're all real. And yeah. she like hugs her teddy bear harder. It's okay, hon. I believe you. Do you get to play with Marcus much or no? Only a little bit. He hasn't been around for a while. I think he's out today, so I won't be able to play with him. But he said oh. he'd be back again. Oh. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to meet Marcus. He sounds like an interesting fellow. Oh, I'm sure he'd love to meet you. You look like you're a really strong warrior, too, you know? You have, like, all that armor, and that axe is really cool. Can I draw you? Oh, I'd love for you to draw me, Lisa. That sounds great. All right. She will take some time uh, pulling out her uh, toys and drawing tools and start to... Uh, doing little stick figure impressions of you. And since I'm an artist too, can I try to draw Lisa? Absolutely. Go ahead and roll. Yay! Alright, yeah, you do totally show up a little girl, but uh, uh I'll she draw looks her, at like, it and she just like, her draw drops like Oh my gosh, you're amazing! Oh, this well, is so pretty! Well, that's, uh... That's, uh, by my gift to you, my new friend. My name's Alexa, by the way. James. Oh my gosh, I have to show this to everyone! And she's, like, starts showing it, like, off to her teddy and off to her little knight. Oh, oh. and I gotta show this to Marcus, too! Oh, this will be so good! And, uh, yeah, I'll just still play with her and make a mental note. The, a six-armed man <laughs> that the girl oh, finds yeah. normal is coming by. That's, yeah. <laughs> this is bad news bears. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you have any other questions of, uh, about uh, this figure? Or uh, do you just want to leave it at that? Or what are you going to do? 
Um, I guess I'll ask her about the knight in the and there was a couple others. Uh the knight, the teddy bear, and the six armed person. Okay. Oh, I'll ask her about the knight, yeah. Oh yeah, she'll she'll talk your ear off about like, oh yeah, we go on adventures and we don't go out into the woods because that's dangerous, but we like went and fought a great big beast and she basically just like uh is telling about the time that she took her took the doll out and like had it whack a cow for a bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, sounds scary. I'm glad you made it out in one piece. I know, it's horns. They could destroy him in just an instant, but he's so brave. Have you Wait. ever fought anything big? Oh, I fought a troll once. A troll? What? I've heard about that a little bit. What was it like? Oh, he's big and stupid. But he was really strong. Oh, wow. How did you beat it? Well, we just kept whacking on it and using magic, and we managed to, to kill it. Yep. You can do magic, too? Oh, I can't do magic. And that. you can draw, and you can fight. You're the coolest <laughs> person ever. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lisa, you're the cutest thing ever. Oh. And, of course, she just blushes again. Yeah, this Lisa, or, uh, making Alexa's maternal instincts kick in or anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely not a character I'm going to kill off later, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> I mean, she was, she's too sweet for this world. Literally. She need to die. Oh, to yeah, too innocent for this world. Here. I mean, all you have to do is wait here, what, seven more days? And she's going to turn into a chaos bond, so... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you don't realize it, but she has, like, seven mutations underneath that dress. No! Her father isn't the one that you've seen. It was a father beyond space and time. And she's more like the father. Uh, or the like father's uh, Marcus. The real father's Marcus. <laughs> that would be terrifying. Anyway. Um... Uh, anyway. Uh, so, were there any other... Uh, were you going to try prying for the uh, more information on Marcus at all, or should I switch scenes? Um, the last thing I'd ask her is, when is, when is Marcus going to come by, do you know? Is it t tomorrow? He always comes by at night, or at least whenever oh. he's around, so I think he'd probably come back again. Oh, he's, always, he says he's really shy, he does And I understand, sometimes I don't want to be seen by others. Oh, I understand. Uh, well, maybe, I'll, maybe we'll see him tonight. But uh, she'll. I'm sure you guys will have a lot in common. Oh, yes. <laughs> you guys will be get along great. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> but uh, I'll play with her, and then um, <laughs> after maybe an hour or so, I'll say, "Well, I should go look for my friend Gustav." Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have more tea if you ever want to come back. Oh, I'd love to. Teddy will love to see you again, and she has. Like, picks up the teddy bear's arm and, like, has it wave at you. <laughs> I will actually... Alexa will feel so taken by the girl's sweetness, she'll give her a hug. Ah, she'll hug you back. She had a good time. Killing her yeah. is really gonna be hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. But, yeah. I mean, I'm not even there, and I'm... I'm anxious <laughs> about it. Yeah, I know. Um... Oh, of perception things, you also notice that she wears a necklace, and it is a key. 